Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now a quick bite-sized tip for you. I'm in the Spitfire, I'm using my Tolby head tracking. I'm doing this an awful lot on my Twitch channel. We do small group flights around the English coast at the moment. Typically in Spitfire like this, getting very scenic scenes, fly, flying low to the ground. Now, to bring up my EFB, my keyboard's off to one side. It's a very awkward place. I don't even have my default binding on my keyboard, so tab doesn't work for the EFB. What I normally have to do, very awkwardly, click up top there, move my EFB down there. Usually I have to centre my aircraft. Often, <laughs> I've actually crashed my Spitfire. Because I'm either very, very close to, to the ground or cliff and not realise what's happened. It's just a very awkward way. I kept saying on Twitch to my people uh, watching there. People watching me there and people flying with me. I've got to bind that on a button on my throttle quadrant. So let's do that. Some of you may have done this already. Some of you may not know. So I'm going to show you. Go to the settings. Go to control settings. Make sure you've got the controller selected that where you want to bind this. I'm going to bind it on my throttle quadrant, as you can see. In the search box here. Very simple. Toggle. Just type in toggle. Guess what? EFB. <laughs> yeah, simple as that. I'm going to click the button I want it on. Button 60. Perfect. Save and back. Wherever you want it, you can put it. On any controller. Click the button. Oh, that's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Just bring it up with a click of a button in any aircraft now. Any of my aircraft, because it's I generally carry across those bindings. Yep. Yeah, EFB's up. So there you go. Like I said, some of you may have not have known that and done that. I hadn't, so I thought I'll show you what I'm doing it. It might be useful to some of you. Do let me know in the comments if it has been useful. I always appreciate that. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful. Subscribe for more, more of these little type of tips. And I'll see you soon.